Okay, howdy folks, it's PR back at you. Look, uh, I run down to the lake, trying to show you a little bit of uh, me death finder work. You know, finding them crappy sometimes, you gotta have to sit down in the chair back there and look at that other graph and, or death finder and try to find some piles. So that's what I kind of did today. Also got a buddy in the boat with me that um, I used to work with him. He's never been in a boat, never really done any fishing. So, uh, and he speaks very little English, so. It was an interesting day. We had a ball. We caught a bunch of fish, but most of them was uh, small fish pops down here. Watching YouTube. Ain't no telling what he's over there watching. What was he watching? Ten bottles and ten hooks. Snakes. Snake traps. Fish traps. Okay, he's looking for traps, so I guess he's going to trap my little dogs. Now they're they, they working on a tiger trap. Working on a tiger trap now. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. Check it out, me and Martin, this guy with me, his name is Martin, uh, and like I said, he's uh, very little English, and he was just overwhelmed the whole time taking pictures and videos, and I didn't get him doing that, but it was, it was pretty fascinating. All right, let's see. A lot of time expired in there when I was finding these brush piles. Some of them I found deep, didn't do nothing really deep, 19, 20 foot. Most of the fish I caught was 10 to 14 foot of water, okay? Check it out. Oh, we're back on High Rock. This is PR back at you. Um, a couple things. We're going to find some fish on the Death Finder. I'll use that little Elite 5 when I'm just riding around looking. So we'll show that. And all I'm doing is kind of concentrating on the creek channels as they go in and out of the creeks, in the back of the creeks or in the middle of the creeks. Okay. Also got a guy used to work with me, Martin. Never been in a boat neither. What you think so far? Uh, it's amazing over here. I, I love it. This is my first time in the boat and I love it. So he's learning today too. We'll all ride around and learn. And catch a couple of fish. Okay, so yes, I got this brush pile mark. This ain't new to me, but just for graph purposes and Martin's purposes, we're going to uh, kind of explain what's going on, okay? So here we go. All oh, right, you can see here, I already know this brush pile's here, but I'm gonna graph it so you can see it on this old little Elite 5, okay? Because the brush pile is right on the edge of that drop. There it is, right there, see it right there? So all I do, as soon as I see it, I just, I got a marker, a buoy marker. I throw that buoy marker out on that pile. That was it right there. And here, there's two side by side here. That was the other one. I caught just the deep side of them. Okay, but you can see it going right over my waypoints too. Okay, so let's turn around. I'm gonna turn around, mark them again, throw the buoy out. Right on the edge of that creek channel, right down through there. Okay, so I'm coming shallow. Coming off the edge of that channel, out of that creek. We're gonna run just the dag on the edge of this channel. See it? But this time I'm gonna throw out the mark. So I'm gonna throw the mark. See I'm coming up on it. See it's 10 foot. Kind of too shallow. And then there's the point over there. You see I'm trying to match the boat up with it. See there's the pile. I went over too fast. There's the second one, and we'll throw the marker on that one. Brush piles. 10 foot, it drops to 13. All right, again, I knew that pile was there. Okay, so let's see if there's any fish on, which I know there's gonna be a bunch of fish on. Okay, so let, let's see if we can get one off this pile. We just grabbed it. Martin got one. He's a baby. One more baby. We've been catching them pretty good. And I'm using a chartreuse one, a Charles. No 
as soon as I cut the camera off. There's one. There's one. So there's fish on the pile, but they're kind of small ones. Baby, but he's a little bit of fish. Cool deal. Let him go. There he is. Another baby. Pretty little fee. Martin with another one. Pretty little fee. Another little, little guy. It's a baby fish. Mm. <laughs> Good deal. Alright, so got right here around these houses, these boat docks and stuff, you can see it. And there's brush in between these two docks here. I'll watch it here on the death finder and a place you know, another place I know so watch right here you see the water's coming up 13 there's the brush see it oh, that's the bottom that's the bottom coming up There's still brush on that drop though see that brush on that drop Some more brush. This is brush coming up off the bottom here. Of course, the screen has changed. And all this is brush coming off. See it fall off right there? Again, I know this hole, so I know there's brush here. I've turned around the same dot. Going back down through it again. A little bit deeper. I'm off a little bit deeper. Again, nothing special here. Straight down sonar. Look at there's a brush pile. See that pile? There's some more. See the pile? I'm just popping my popping my motor in and out of gear so I can just slowly get a scan to the bottom. It's right underneath the boat. And I don't have all that fancy stuff, side scan. And I don't have down scan here. I have regular sonar on my dash. There's another pile. See it? See it shot up to eight foot on top of that one. So let's see if we can get any fish off those, okay? What you think so far, man? Amazing. I like fishing. I've never been fishing before, but I love it. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, hold on. Y'all look at this great big old brim of shell cracker out in the top. Yeah, man, I'm all up underneath this dock. Look at the size of this joke. That's my hand. Look at the size of that daggone shell cracker or brim. Bigger than my hand. Look at the size. I'm gonna put him in the live well for now. Okay, so grab some more brush. You can see this bank behind me. That's a pretty steep drop, so. It drops off pretty good. And you see we're in 15 foot of water right here. And my marker's right up there. And you see the brush coming up now. See it? See the brush? Almost 20 foot of water on this side of that brush pile. So 
So this is a spot I ain't never fished. I just happen to be cruising by here, cruising by these docks, and uh, seen this brush. So, all right, the marker's up front of the trolling motor. I'm gonna go by this other side, the opposite side of it, and look at the brush again. There's the brush pile. See, we're coming up on it now. Before I even get to the marker, there's the marker. So it's a lot more on the deeper side. So this is by far the deepest brush pile I've fished. Okay, so that first deep brush pile didn't pay off. Again, that's 20 foot plus water we was in. I found another one on the deep bank you see here. And we're fixing to go by here. Here's the marker. I threw it out as I was going across it. And you see I'm coming up in it now. Like there's a bait on top of it. Good solid marks. Y'all see that? There goes the bark of buoy marker. I'm going by it now. You see the brush pile. Okay, so now I'm on a point, kind of a point, you can see it behind me. And I've grabbed another brush pile over here somewhere. I got my marker thrown, so we'll go back and check my marker as soon as I can find it. It's out there. My marker's out there. And we'll ride over it and see what this brush pile looks like. I'll keep the marker on this side of the boat. Okay? The marker's right up there. See me coming up on some stuff now. Maybe a stump. There's the marker. Kind of off of it a little bit. There's the marker. Now you see the brush. I'm back in that 12 to 14 foot range water. Not really no fish there. Turned around. There's the point over there. Martin, what's up, Martin? What's up? And we're gonna hit this brush pile marker again. There's the dev finder. It's still in front of me right here on the other side of the trolling motor. I hit it the trolling motor. All right, you see the marker there. So we're gonna come up on this brush pile now. There's the marker. Brush. You can see it right there. Saw the brush, 12 foot of water. I might have a few fish stacked on it. Or a little white bass is more like a sand perch, it ain't got stripes like a little white bass, but pretty little fish. Right, it's me and Martin at the dock. Boat's on the trailer. He's taking some to the house. He got enough for supper. Right, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, it was kind of, we, like again, we didn't catch a lot of any good, real good fish, but we caught a lot of fish and they were just small ones. And he was so happy to take it, take, take some fish home with him. <laughs> For his family and all. Uh, matter of fact, before I could get home, he was posting pictures how he done cleaned them up. <laughs> it was, it was pretty. Stay tuned. Let me know what you thought about this one too. Martin, thanks for coming, man. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Crash.